Hello, I'm Zara Phillips and I'm here to tell you about an exciting new partnership between Land Rover and WISE. In the UK, we desperately need more engineers and there just aren't enough women getting involved. The Range Rover Evoke WISE scholarship aims to put this right. In my sport of three-day eventing, I compete equally with men and women. The same is true of engineering, but only 13% of the workforce is female. That needs to change. We want to build on this country's history of brilliant female engineers, from those who developed their skills in the ATS during World War II to those working on today's cars. Hundreds of the first girl conscripts this country has ever known arrive with volunteers at a depot to be welcomed into the ranks of the ATS. In less time than it takes to tell, the 21s and unders have said goodbye to civic clothes and are donning the uniform of the ATS. They're in the army now. With so many men away fighting, Britain was in dire need of a reliable, capable workforce. So it was left to us women to fill in the gap. For the first time in history, thousands of women were taking on roles traditionally associated with men. At this motor transport training centre for girls in the ATS, all the mechanical and driving instruction is given by women. The girls get a thorough working knowledge of a working model. At one moment up and over, the next down and under. It was an amazing transformation. Until now, women's work had typically been in the home or typing pool. Now we are fixing trucks and working machinery. Everyone mucked in. Every family played their part. Taking a driving course at a training centre is Princess Elizabeth, second subaltern ATS. She has been learning to drive and maintain all types of motor vehicles. I think the fact that the princess had joined was a great rallying cry to other people. Other women thought, oh well, if the queen, you know, princess can, then I can. And I thought it was a very brave attempt by her to do that. I'm sure she was quite determined to do it and do her bit, a bit like me. <laughs> Everyone wanted to be a driver in the ATS. I had to check the tyres, oil, water, make sure the vehicle was um, in roadworthy condition before you set out. You had to learn to look after yourself and be responsible for your vehicle. And I really enjoyed that. It was quite an adventure. I was a shorthand typist and I went in to be a shorthand typist, but one of my friends said, that's not very exciting. So I went to see the sergeant. I just said, well, I think I'd rather be a driver than a shorthand typist, please. So that's how I became a driver and I, I really loved it. When the war ended and the men came back from the front, it was assumed that women would return to their traditional place in society. But things had changed. More and more women wanted to build on their wartime experiences. We laid a great foundation, but over the years, some of the momentum was lost. And by the turn of the century, the percentage of female engineers in the UK was half the European average. Something had to be done. And that's where WISE comes in. WISE was set up to promote science and engineering as great careers for girls and it was set up in 1984. The position of the UK is that we're bottom of the league table in Europe, so we've got the lowest percentage of female engineers of any other country. In some countries it's more like 30%, and WISE would like to see it to be 30% female in this country. WISE is really pleased to be working with Land Rover on this new scholarship. It is an incentive to encourage more girls to study engineering, and it also will create more female role models that we can use to inspire the next generation coming through. In my work, I rely on the very latest technology to get me where I need to go. Whatever the weather and whatever the terrain, engineering's changed beyond recognition and we are all benefiting. Today, companies like Land Rover need a diverse range of engineers with a diverse range of skills. They already have some extremely talented female engineers, but they want more women to play their part. When you say engineering, a lot of people think workshops, overalls, mud on your hands, that sort of thing. But a lot of engineering is moving away from testing and development now and into computer-aided methods. As a 16, 17-year-old, I thought engineering was everything from fixing washing machines to being a mechanic, but I hadn't considered the kind of academic engineering or the more mathematical-based engineering that I do now. I'll be texting my friends and I'll be saying, oh, what are you doing today? And they'll be like, oh, I'm sat in a lecture theatre, just listening, not really paying attention. And I'll be like, well, I'm currently at this place watching this crash test, I'm currently over here doing this, I'm currently learning about how this works and there's always something to do. There are lots of different roles that they could go into, 
um, material based, whether it's the engine technology, there's quite a wide variety. Women can do it just as well as men, if not better. <laughs> As you can see, there's never been a more exciting or rewarding time for women to pursue a career in engineering. That's why Land Rover has joined forces with WISE to support the scholarship. We want you to take a closer look at how amazing and diverse engineering can be, and we want to inspire you to become part of the next generation of female engineers. More girls should definitely get an engineering. It's such a great way to go. You end up being so involved with what's going on that you know, you can't help but go home and be enthusiastic and talk about it. If they've got the will and the drive, then, you know, they can succeed and become whatever they want to be. I think engineering's the best job in the world, but then I'm biased. Come and see what we're up to. Head to our website and perhaps one day you'll be designing and building the Range Rovers of tomorrow.